Good afternoon, Chandler's Legacy Farm. We're uh, we're testing some knives and a saw and a hatchet here today. I'll uh, I'll move you guys in closer here in a minute to so you can you all can see what I got going on here. But uh, I got the Moore Garberg, the Moore Constable, the Baco Laplander, and the Charade Bedrock Hatchet. We'll be uh, using all these today and splitting up some wood and see if we can't strike a little fire. All right. We'll uh, get all this out of the way here. Don't need that or that or that. Get all that out of the way. Shrade Bedrock. Even comes with a Fire steel just pulls right out of the handle. Pretty, pretty neat little deal. Then we got Baco Laplander lock shut. Got to push the button to open it. That's what that is. Nice little saw. Mora Constable and the Mora Garber. See the difference in the grinds there. We're going to see what kind of different shavings we get off of uh, different grinds. Also, Garberg is a lot thicker than the Constable. So, we will. Ha! And we'll be using the trusty Harbor Freight rubber mallet. Alright. Some of this is pine that I have in this garage is frozen. So I had to use the big post mall to get some of this busted up. It was uh, very frozen from being in the garage. But uh, I can still take this hatchet and knock off some of this rotten stuff with it just like that peels off pretty easy with a hatchet but it's one way of saving your knife blade if you got a hatchet and you can baton this you know with another piece of wood too you know you don't you don't have to have a rubber mallet but that's just the way I like to do it but uh yeah some of this is pretty wet very wet. I just cut this stuff up the other day. It's very wet. I don't know. We I don't know how much of a fire we would get out of this or not, but try to find something that's dry. Here's a piece. It's a little more dry. Let's uh let's do a little baton in here with the Garberg. See if we can't just knock some chunks off this. There's a big knot right there. That ought to test it. There it goes. There we go. See that big knot? That's a pain in the butt. Mm-hmm. See if we can't go down next to that knot. But again on the other side here. Yeah. Yeah, that big knot's gonna be a problem. But we did get a couple of pieces off there let's see can't find something else it might not have a big knot in it that doesn't have a big knot in it it's wet very wet soaking wet actually but it's more a garber they're pretty tough they can take it they can take it they're uh they're full tang that tang comes all the way out the end here so they're they're pretty darn tough they really are. All right, let's dig around here. This piece is pretty dry. It's got that big knot in it, but let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do with some shavings here.
All right, Let's see how big those curls are. Let's see what happens when we use this constable. Let's see, we'll turn it around here a little bit. Oh man, I can tell that it's a whole lot more slicey just because of the grind angle. It's so much thinner on the end. It's a whole lot easier to do these curls with. You can still get some thick ones if you're not careful. You have to stay out, out on the tip of that knife. But, uh, yeah, that's, will sure, for sure make some, make some nice feathers. Well, it will. Yeah, they were good feathers. Pretty darn good feathers. All right, we'll try to keep this somewhere dry. Now, I can't get into some of my fat wood here. And some of this fat wood. Now, oh, we was going to try that saw. Yeah, got to gotta try the saw out. We'll use this little piece here. Put these knives up for a moment. There we go. Let's see what we can do here. The saw. quick work of half frozen pine that's not bad we can't cut this off here let's see here look at that put that stick in the bend of your leg Drop your knee on something really helps out makes you cut a whole lot faster but the better you can brace what you're cutting the better off you are all right that saw is pretty handy that's pretty good they really saw good I, I really like the Laplanders the Bacos all right now what I do with that there it is there it is a little piece of fat wood Make us a little pile here. See how I make it a little big, little bitty fine curls. There we go. Now we'll do some scraping. The good thing about this Consible is it does have a 90 degree spine, so it will strike your fire rod, and it'll also Peel your little, give you little bitty shavings off of your, uh, off your fat wood or whatever you're wanting to shave there. See, they both have got, both of these knives have got 90 degree spines, so it'll just shave that stuff right off. Garberg being better for this little chore. I know the truth. I don't know why. Feels like the blade's more substantial. Oh, uh, I don't know. That just to use the back of the spine. This this Garberg just feels better. Yeah. All right. Now we'll put our fat wood down. Here, little pile, nice little pile. Oh. <laughs> All right, both of these knives came with uh, fire steels. Get a little bitty fire steel with this one. 
This one didn't come with fire steel. My bad. I made this little piece that goes on there. Little ranger band, little hair tie, little uh, little uh, gorilla tape. Yeah, that's how I put all that together. You can just kind of push up on it. Mm, it comes out. I took a little piece of a milk jug and made a circle. And then I just wrapped the end of this in some, uh, some more Gorilla Tape. It just kind of clicks in there. You can actually hear it click. It stays in there nice and tight. Don't have to worry about losing it. All right. Now, I'm going to use my big fire steel for this. I just, I'm spoiled to using my big fire steel. We'll see what I can do here. Ah, there we go. I already got it going. All right. Let's see if we can't get these on there. Oh, yeah. Look at there. Look at there. About 50 degrees out here today and still soaking wet. Seems like it will not stop raining now that the cold finally went away. Yeah, that's it. That is it. So, definitely use the hatchet. It's handy. Hatchet works fine. Knives work excellent. Most mores do. Saw. You saw how good that saw works. It'll saw really good. Where the heck did my hatchet go? I know I had to set it down somewhere. Here it is. Come out my hatchet. Look at there. There we go. There we go. I had to use the big hatchet to get into the wood. Once I got into the wood and got it smaller, then I could get this one to work. And then we tested the saw, sawed a couple of kind of frozen pieces. And uh, used the knives, struck fire steel. That one's definitely more slicey than that one. The Garberg is definitely not as slicey, that's for sure. But, uh, starting to smoke. Throw that over there. All right. That's it. They're definitely usable tools. All right. We'll, uh, catch you next time. See ya.